It's happening, y'all. It's happening. It's getting ready to go down right about now. Three, two, one. Howdy, 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 and welcome to Thriving in the Transition, the podcast. Folks, we made it. Episode six. That's nearly a half dozen. Super, super excited for where this is going. Uh, we're so much of a thing now. It's not even funny. You know what? We're so much of a thing. I'm probably going to start to ignore you or tone down my hygiene. That's how much of a thing we are. Your feedback, encouragement, and connection really make this all worthwhile. I'm going to keep coming back whether you like it or not because guess what? Your parents like me, so it doesn't matter too much. I'm coming back. Doing this and connecting with you is truly, truly amazing and absolutely inspirational for me. I hope you feel the same. I hope you feel just the tiniest bit of what I do. So yay me, yay you, and more than anything, yay us. As we continue to grow and broaden our audience and, let's let's face it, figure out what we're doing, go ahead and give us a five-star rating. Follow us, subscribe, add positive comments, liking us, giving us the thumbs up, and asking questions along the way. Simply put, please connect with us, engage with us, make us part of your community, whatever that community is. We're flexible, we're versatile, we can fit in, just give us a shot, give us a shot. You can even list me as your emergency contact if that helps. As long as you don't need a credit card number because, like, all bets are off it. But, yeah, go ahead and list me as that emergency contact. We're now up and available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Radio Public, Breaker, Overcast, Pocket Cast, and, of course, Anchor FM. Simply search for us wherever you choose to listen to your great podcast. Why am I doing this? In part, I get bored easily. Uh, that's just the straight up truth. There's nothing meant by that. Hashtag truth all day. Another reason that I do this is to keep moving forward in my personal journey. I want to continue to grow as a person and an artist. It was once said that you officially become an artist when you share your art with others. That's what I'm doing. This is my art, folks. Please take it in, absorb it, embrace it, put it on your wall. I want to bring my message, my philosophy, my positive outlook, a.k.a. my art, to the world. And that means you. I'm always up for a challenge, and doing this podcast allows me to be me, to be vulnerable, and step into my power. I absolutely believe that part of my purpose in this life is to connect with you and others, and bring folks together. I want to highlight and exemplify that we've got more in common than we do in difference. Of course, those differences are so much easier to see. We literally wear them on our sleeves. But discovering and appreciating the differences is much more fun. So yeah, that's partly why I'm doing this. And now, more than ever, as we deal with COVID-19... But not just the virus. It's not just the virus that we're dealing with, folks. It's the associated fear, misinformation, the judgment. Oh, if I was president, I would have done this. Well, if I was the governor of fill-in-the-blank state, well, I would have done this. Well, the CDC should have blah, blah, blah. That blame, that judgment is just so pervasive right now. And then we've got part of, I won't say the remedy, but part of the thing that we're using to prevent a huge spike in people that are infected. Social distancing. So it's important not to be alone, to not be isolated, to have a community, to have a tribe, if you will. We're all dealing with this pandemic together. So again, we've got more in common than we do in difference. The other part, or the rest of the story of why I'm doing this, I really want to shine a, a light on those slightly enigmatic, charismatic, and inspirational people and their stories about how they thrive during their various transitions. Right now, the whole world is in transition. There's no way to deny that at all. And I want to help the world thrive. 
maybe even bring some humor or a unique point of view along the way. Today, this episode, episode six, we've got the opportunity to connect with my good friend, Tammy Parrish. Tammy's an image consultant and owner of the Cloning Compass. Tammy's an image consultant and owner of the Clothing Compass based in Amsterdam, the Netherlands, for those of you that aren't really sure where Amsterdam is. Tammy helps ambitious professionals match their outsides to their insides, so they have more self-confidence and become even more successful in less time. I wanted to talk to Tammy on this topic of having a goal or a destination. It's my belief that without a goal or a destination, there's no way to thrive in a transition. Zero. You have to have that goal. You have to have that destination. You have to know where things are going. And at this time, not having a goal or a destination creates the perfect opportunity to doubt yourself, your skills, your competence, your past achievements, and it gives you an opening to blame yourself for all of that. This perfect storm serves to keep you where you are. Forward progress and momentum is effectively stopped. And if you remember, not making progress is the first and only sign that safety is at risk. So all that being said, I'm calling this episode, Tell Me What You Want, What You Really, Really Want. Totally a nod to the Spice Girls and my geekiness, but I think you probably picked that up already. As a coach, one of the most difficult questions for my clients to answer is this. What do you want? Simple question. Four words. What do you want? People struggle with it. I've struggled with it, and I'm sure you've struggled with it. And I believe the reason that folks struggle with that simple question is twofold. One... Answering the question lends insight into personal motives, biases, shortcomings, and beliefs. Typically, things that we choose to avoid or ignore. These are the building blocks of who we are as people, right? That's number one. The second part of that twofold assertion, once you answer the question of what do you want, you're now forced to confront your role nay, your responsibility to achieve that goal, to create the structures and ultimately your own sense of happiness or accomplishment, or not. I think that's why people struggle. When you answer the question, now you have to do something about it. And many times we don't like doing that. We can't do that. We don't vision a world where we can do that. Tammy came to mind for several reasons. She's an entrepreneur, a mother. She's got a great outlook on transitions. However, secretly, well, not so secretly anymore because, well, I'm telling all of you this. We were perhaps the most unlikely couple in our high school to win prom king and queen. That's right. Your boy was prom king 1992 at Cape Central Senior High School. And that happened because we created a goal. As you'll hear when we talk to Tammy, that goal, well, you'll feel it too. That goal meant more to me than it did to her, and that's absolutely okay. There's zero wrong with that. But creating that mutual goal and ultimately bringing it, bringing it to fruition was definitely one of those transitions that meant a lot to me and helped form of my, my philosophy, if you will. It helped form my thoughts around change and transition and without that experience, without setting that goal, without achieving that goal, this pot podcast might not be happening right now. You'll get a chance to talk to Tammy and hear all about our quest to become prom king and queen right after this short break. We'll be right back, folks. People, I've got to tell you, I have so much fun with these interviews. That conversation with Tammy was super, super fun for me. Super excited. I'm so glad I got to share it with you. So 
what's the takeaway? We covered a lot. We talked about a lot. We talked a lot about Tammy and her transitions and the journeys along the way. What's the bottom line? First and foremost, you have capital H-A-V-E. You absolutely have to have a goal or destination. No other way around it. You just have to. That being said, let's put this thing into perspective and do a little practice right here in the moment. So at the beginning of this episode, I talked about the coronavirus, a.k.a. COVID-19. What's your goal to thrive during this time of COVID-19? What's your plan to thrive during this outbreak or pandemic? Share the answer with us wherever you can comment on this podcast, wherever you follow me, wherever you see my post, Facebook, Spotify, Yammer, Apple, LinkedIn, whatever the case, send me an email, chat, comment, whatever the vehicle you use to listen to this. Let us know what's your goal to thrive during the COVID-19 outbreak and pandemic. So doing that will give you the opportunity to work on setting this goal and creating a destination for yourself. Just in case you need a further refresher on what transpired during that conversation with Tammy, here are a few things that I took away and hopefully you will too. Said it already, I'll say it one more time. You have to have a goal. You have to have a transition. Obvi, right? Totally, totally obvi. Without that goal, without that destination, you're treading water, you're going in circles, you're wandering aimlessly. Now, sometimes there's a place for that. When you want to get to the next level, when you want to thrive in the transition, that's not one of them. Another point, stay flexible and get after it. You may not always hit the mark or the mark may be a moving target, but realize where you are and enjoy it. Realize where you are and enjoy it. That harkens back to, again, that conversation with Steve Ryman and the station with Robert Hastings. Don't get robbed by regret or fear. Enjoy the moment where you are. Enjoy the museum. You don't need to take pictures. None of that. Just enjoy it. Another one. What can you find to like or love during a transition? It's not all fear. It's not all doom and gloom. If you were able to find something that you like or love or some methodology to have fun, that transition nearly isn't as scary. Now, Tammy couldn't put her finger on it. There's this innate thing, and I think that's true for a lot of people, but I believe that that can be learned with realization, insight, and practice. So focus on that thing that you can pick up on, that you can spot, that you can do to have some fun during your transition. Fun, in my opinion, turns to like. Like can turn to love. When you do that, you will thrive. Another point, I don't know what number it is. I think it's number four. Listen to and trust yourself. Don't ignore the small things, right? That pit in the feeling of your stomach, the hairs on the back of your neck, all that stuff. If it's telling you that it's good, it's good. Don't doubt yourself. Don't second guess yourself. When that realization hits, and it was brilliant for Tammy, when she was a server and a classmate said, what are you doing here? Her response, you're right. What am I doing here? That day, or very close to, she moved to New York with a 30-day plan. You don't have to have a five-year plan, a 10-year plan. What are you going to do in 30 days? It's that simple. But it all starts with trusting yourself and not ignoring the small things. As you set that goal, as you create that destination, you have to be accountable and responsible. Without accountability and responsibility, you never, ever, ever get to the goal, even if you have set one. But more so, if you don't have accountability and responsibility, you never set the goal. You've always got a built-in out. You've got a built-in loophole because you know you're not going to be accountable or responsible in the first place. So if you do that, if you're accountable and responsible, you're going to thrive. You don't need the picture. Tammy spent some time on this. When you go to places, when you enjoy things, whether it's museums, whether it's parks, whether it's family gatherings, birthday parties, dinners, 
any occasion that you might take out your phone and snap some pictures. Take a couple, but don't spend all your time because now that camera is between you and life. That camera is between you and reality. You're the photographer. You're not an active participant. Focus on making that memory. And I love Tammy's assertion, you take all these pictures, how many of you actually go back and look at the pictures? Chances are a lot of us don't. That's why if you put the camera down, focus on making the memory, you're always going to have that memory. And I guarantee that mental image will be absolutely more vivid than any picture that you take. And I don't care what device you use, whether it's a phone, a camera, a tablet, that mental image is so super powerful. True story. Sometimes I'm on vacation with the family and the kids are running around and they're being goofy like kids do. And one of my kids will stop and look at me and they're like, dad, take a picture. And I look at them, kind of put my fingers up in the position of a camera and I say, click. And they laugh and laugh and laugh. That memory is worth way more than any picture that I could have taken. Just thought I'd share. Last one. Now, Tammy was really passionate about this. Ambition is not a dirty word, especially for women. You need ambition. Ambition drives us. That's where you get your destinations. That's how you set your goals is typically through your ambition. Don't hide your light. Don't push it away. Don't become small so someone else can feel big or better about themselves. Let your ambition be as big as you can bear. And then put all of these points together. Go get it. Now that ambition's given you this goal and destination, be flexible. What can you find to love? Listen and trust to yourself. Be accountable and be in the moment. You don't need the pictures. So let that ambition be as big as you can possibly bear. So those are the things that I took away from the conversation. If you took away other things, let us know. Again, connect with us, send us an email, post a response, whatever the case. Let us know what you took away from it. One thing that I realized in the two folks that we've talked to so far, Tammy Parrish and Stephen Ryman, there's also something about humility. Both Tammy and Steve seem to almost make light of or make lesser than of their drive, their communities that they built and created, and even their accomplishments. I haven't totally put my finger on what it is, but rest assured it's coming. Folks, it's coming to a podcast near you, probably in the not too distant future. So there's something about humility during the transition and the ability to thrive. Again, I just wanted to acknowledge my guest, Tammy Parrish. I do appreciate her support of me and this podcast. And if you want to connect with her, please, please do so. You can connect with her at her website, clothingcompass.com. You can connect with her on LinkedIn at uh, Tammy-Parish. Uh, that's P-A-R-R-I-S-H. Follow her on Instagram, Clothing Compass, C-L-O-T-H-I-N-G, Compass, C-O-M-P-A-S-S, -S, all one word. Also connect on Facebook. She's also put together this really amazing article, Five Tips to Let Your Wardrobe Work for You. Five Tips to let your wardrobe work for you, whether in a transition or otherwise. You can check that out on the website, clothingcompass.com forward slash biweekly tips, uh, biweekly dash tips. So check out the article. I'll have all this information wherever you listen to this podcast, on the YouTube channel, all that fun stuff. That brings us to the end, to the close to the culmination of another episode of Thriving in the Transition, this being episode six. Thanks for joining. Thanks for allowing me to be myself. If you're getting something from this, anything at all, give us a rating of five stars wherever you listen to your podcast. That ensures that we keep bringing you high quality content. That ensures that we keep 
this connection going on. I'm a stickler on relationships. This, this is a thing. We're going to keep it going. Subscribe. Don't just give us feedback. We want you to do that too. Yes, absolutely give us the ratings. But subscribe. Download. Add us to the list of other great podcasts you listen to. Follow me on Twitter and Facebook at Logic Consulting, L-O-G-I-Q Consulting. Also follow me on Instagram. Hit me up on the gram at Logic Coach, L-O-G-I-Q underscore coach. Don't forget to follow that YouTube channel that I alluded to, Thriving in the Transition. You'll see video clips. Uh, you'll see my little basement hovel where I put this thing together. There's also a web thrivingintheTransition.com all one word www.thrivingintheTransition.com somewhere in one of those places and you have to check them all you might find that picture of me and Tammy from homecoming no promises so just check out all of my social media and let us know if you find that pic lastly if you're interested in supporting this podcast and helping us grow Please send me an email, tweet, IM, or just jump right in the DM. You'll find a sponsorship button on my homepage on Anchor FM. That's www.anchor.fm forward slash T-I-T-T. T-I-T-T for Thriving in the Transition. Again, look for that support button. Most importantly, don't keep this a secret. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your coworkers, tell the people at church or at book club. Be ambitious. It's okay. You have my permission. In fact, I challenge you to set a goal to tell at least five people about Thriving in the Transition, the podcast. Folks, that's it. Until the next episode, cheers. Have a great day.